Alright everybody, welcome back to another Unreal Engine tutorial. So if you saw our, our previous video of how to make uh, the growing mushroom, then you are in the right place. This is the next episode. We're going to make the the square brick boxes that you 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 smash and you jump on and uh, to get the power ups. But if you haven't seen that first video, please go back and watch it because we are going off of that video. So you will not have the right uh, blueprints to work with if you do not follow through that first video. Let's right click on the content browser, click on blueprint class, let's create a new actor. And we're going to call this power up box. Or let's call it power up brick. Yeah. All right. And uh, we're going to want to open that blueprint up. And we are going to add a static mesh and we're going to call it brick. And we are going to add a box collision. So click on the brick and we're going to add a cube in here. So let's see how big this cube is in the world. So I'm going to drag it out and you can see that it's quite large, right? So we actually want to shrink this down maybe to 0 0.75 compile let's see how that looks that looks better yeah that looks all right big enough so our box collision we are going to want to put this only on the bottom of the box right because we don't want to be procking or we don't want to be triggering the box from from above it or beside it so we can make this pretty thin because we only need it on the bottom and then we can spread it out till it's just on the tip of the edges just and we can raise this up all right i'm gonna turn off the grid so i can slide it up slowly and we can just make it peek out from underneath the box just like that and then i'm gonna select the box go into the event graph and we're gonna scroll down here again and do another on component begin overlap so same thing as last time, I'm going to cast to third person character, plug it in, compile and save. And we want to, well, first thing we want to happen is we want the box to sort of uh, react to getting hit, right? So we can do a new custom event. Let's call this triggered. And we're going to use a timeline to uh, to set the reaction of the box to getting uh, triggered. So when the box gets hit, I want to set its uh, world scale 3D. And we're going to plug this in. And we're going to open up the timeline. So let's set the length to a second, make a flow track, and we'll call this scale. I'm holding shift and I'm going to left click twice on the graph. First one we set to zero, second one we set to one. And our value, we're going to want to, we're going to want to start off the value at 0 0.5 because our scale is at 0 0.5. So zero, 0. 0.5. 75 and then this one will go 1 2.75 so we want it to actually end uh, at the same size right but we want all this interaction in the middle of it so we're going to add some extra node some extra nodes in the middle and we're actually just going to play around with these so let's just put them like randomly compile and save and go back to our event graph and we're going to want to make vector now plug in the scale to all the vector nodes hit compile and save and let's see how this looks so when we go when we overlap the the character we're going to want to call this triggered function hit compile and save and let's move the box over here make sure that we can actually overlap it uh all right hit play so we have our box here and then we're gonna go underneath it and we're just gonna jump 
So you see how that box kind of jiggles when you hit it from underneath. So if you go on, oops, overshot it, so if you go on top of it, it actually won't uh, trigger it, right? Because we only put, so I'm gonna do a show collision here so that you can actually see the collision from underneath the box, right? That little red uh, box underneath it is what's triggering this uh, effect. All right, so now we want it to, we want it to only trigger once, right? Because once you use the mystery box, then you kinda can't use it again. <laughs> so we're gonna add a do once here, compile and save. And we're also gonna wanna make it spawn our mushroom. So I'm gonna right click, make another custom event. And we're gonna call this spawn power up. All right, compile and save. So I'm gonna drag out from here and we are gonna spawn actor from class. And we are gonna make it the BP underscore mushroom, which we made in the last video. Yep. So the mushroom, all right, let's not worry about that for now. So we want to get the brick and we're gonna go get the get world location and we're gonna drag from this and make transform here we go and plug this into spawn transform hit compile and save um, so what we could do is we could actually go into our BP mushroom over here let's open it up and we're gonna want to set our mushroom we're gonna want to click on our static mesh mushroom and set it to no collision we don't we don't want it to collide with anything and then our box we can do generate overlap events untick that and we want to set a delay from our begin play and after the delay, we're gonna wanna we're gonna want the box to generate overlap events. So plug this in, hit yes, and we want this to be let's do one second, right? So the reason why we're adding this delay is because we are gonna wanna spawn the mushroom and we want it to come out from, from within the brick, right? So we're gonna spawn the mushroom on the brick. And then we're gonna make a timeline. Uh, let's call this move mushroom. Mm -hmm. Or no, sorry, we'll call this one alpha. Or yeah, we can call it move mushroom. It's no problem. We'll double click on this and we'll make it a second, which is uh, the exact time that we set our delay in the mushroom to be one second. And then we're gonna add a float and we're gonna name this one alpha. So I'm gonna hold shift and click twice, make this one zero zero, make this one one one. And then we're gonna close these timelines. And what we're gonna wanna do is we're actually gonna wanna get this actor location and we're gonna wanna save this into a variable. And we're going to call this mushroom location. And we want to, well, we can actually save this actor as a variable as well. And we'll call this one mushroom. And we're going to want to get mushroom. And then we're going to want to set its world look or we can set actor location, right? We plug this into update and then we want to get our mushroom location, right? We want to get our mushroom location and then we want to do a vector plus vector. And we want to 
we want to add to the Z, right? Because Z axis in Unreal Engine means up and down. So uh, you see this blue arrow, it, it corresponds to this blue line, which is labeled Z up here. So if we increase the Z axis, then we're actually making it go up. So we know our mushroom location is the location of this brick. So we want it to go up by, let's do like, let's try 100. Let's see how 100 looks. And then we want to do a, a lerp, a vector lerp. So we want it to go from our mushroom location. And we want it to end 100 units higher than our mushroom location. So we're going to plug this into new location and plug in the alpha. Let's hit compile and save. And this is all under the function uh, spawn power up. So when, we're trig when we trigger the box, uh, we want it to do the movement. And when it's done, we want to do this uh, spawn power up function. So let's hit compile and save. And let's see if this works. So we have our box over here. I'm going to go underneath it and jump. So there you see it, the mushroom comes out from underneath it. I'm going to jump and get that mushroom and our character grows in size. But you can see that the mushroom is hovering over it. So we're going to want to decrease the plus Z here. Maybe 50 might do it. Let's hit compile and save. I'm actually going to lower this so that we can see a little better. So we have our box here, nothing on top of it. I'm going to lower this box just so we can really see. So here's our box. We go underneath it and jump. So we do the movement and the mushroom comes out from within it. Jump over it, get that mushroom and our character grows. And yeah, that's our mystery box from Mario. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, like always hit that subscribe because we are pumping out content and you do not want to miss uh, our videos because they do relate to one another right like if you come in at a later video you might be lost so you do want to follow these uh, episode by episode and yeah thanks for watching see you guys peace out